Ooh, it's the 13th night of the five-star Grand Prix. Oh, unlucky 13. There's a word for people afraid of the number 13. Triskaidekaphobia. And if you're one of these people, turn off this video right now. Oh, it's too late. You're cursed. Dan Housen's gonna curse you, which means you're just never gonna be on TV and just selling t-shirts. Oh, famous people with this phobia include Stephen King. So you know, explains a lot. But it's also considered lucky in other cultures, so if you go buy yourself a scratch-off ticket right after you hit like and subscribe, and win all that money to donate to the mayor cat, I'm kidding. Man, these intros are turning to Eric Andre. <laughs> it sucks, man. Four matches today. First, we start with... Oh, it's Hanan. Hi, Hanan. Hanan is fresh off a win and facing her senior. Sorry, Anna. Oh, this ever, ever stoic and stone cold killer with the beauty to match. And this was a fun little match. Hanan is basically on the lowest tier of competitors, so this felt more like a skill check for the younger one. And these two had a really good chemistry, such synergy with each other, the smooth the vessels, the judo, Hanan jumping on people as usual. Anno using fighting to stop Hanan, but Hanan fights better than you'd think. Her growth evident, her counters are very nice, and she even learned from Hazuki to quickly lock a submission. Trapping Anno with her legs, oh dear. Anno so fluid in the ring, moving through air like nothing. Her performance is always wonderful, caring for the damaged shoulders. Hanan seemingly has her number though, hitting her famous her taking the hits to deliver suplexes including her beautiful fall away suplex of a bridge that little hanan plex her finisher is constantly countered by the skills of arnold though her damaged lower back and shoulders now causing problems but still able to lift hanan making the crowd go Ooh, and hit a fisherman. Hanan's last effort with the 17 fails, and her last ditch effort to counter the German also fails to Arnold's strength, allowing Arno to hit her temp's tendre with her beautiful bridge for the very simple victory. It was a nice match. Hanan working hard, and Arno having to figure her out, eventually landing on just using pure strength on her. They work well together, and a future match when Hanan is more powerful will be very fun. Next is the Black Peach Momo Watanabe. This ever dominant woman has been a total badass in this tournament, but she gotta face a person who would call the manager on her, Mariah May, and she immediately knocks her outside and leaps outside. Oh wow! And oh, don't steal the bat, that's Momo's. Oh, look at the strategy. She hands it to Waka to keep safe. That's that's not a good place to keep it, but that just pisses Momo off, and she decides to kill this white woman and then takes back from Waka and smacks Waka like she's Negan. Oh, poor Waka. Momo's so angry she's using a fan to beat her like a literal fan. Now Momo can just kick Mariah around the ring punishing her and relishing in the punishment. But watch out for Mariah's sling blade and her drop kick. Both well done. She is taller with the aggressive machine gun chops and tries her little move again. But that worked once, Mariah. You gotta stop trying. Momo may making fun of you and destroying that face completely annihilating her over and over and over and over this little momacita but this is mariah may fighting is not too low for her and look at this tornado ddt mariah has moves she can just pull out of nowhere but momo too vicious but makes the mistake of the b driver on the apron so mariah can just slip out and hit a power bomb show outside inside the fighting portion is actually a slapping portion the slapping the back Drop driver, tombstone blocked, and Momo kicks her right in the head, and that makes Mariah so mad. She Karen's Momo. Oh, not the Karen. Even landing an angel's wing in a very impressive showing of strength. But oh, the ref push, and Momo home runs Mariah's goddamn face. Ah, B driver for the victor. Oh no, Mariah May is not made of plastic. She's not elastic. You can cut her hair and knock her head off anywhere. But imagine. Imagination. Life is her creation, damn it! But Momo is like King from Tekken and can do multiple combos of banging moves. But Mariah reverses into the once upon a time flash pin for the win. Oh my god, that was a surprise. Mariah shocked Momo, and all she can do is smirk.
She got played by a white woman. It happens to everyone, Momo. Next is Ami. Sorry, but she's a starlight kid. Oh, this little menace, this little biscuit, this little Joshi with a little mask, and I actually have a starlight kid mask. Thank you, Juggernaut Graphics, and by proxy, Punk Quicks Videos. I also have this shirt here, but it's not for sale. I kind of look like, I kind of look like Lindsay Dorado. Anyways, this match was a dud for me. Starlight Kid certainly tried, and there's nothing wrong with Ami either. They were just the opposite of Anno and Hanan. They just did not click. It was rough, and I don't like being too negative on here, so we're just gonna gloss over it, okay? Ami hits Starlight Kid with the like a thunderbolt move for the shocking win. Being a fan of Starlight Kid for this 5 star has been very rough. Hopefully, Rossi has plans for SLK in the future because she deserves more than I think she's getting here. Final match, we have Natsuko Tora. Oh, the big boss beat Tam Nakano, and this is a huge match because the winner of this match is the leader of not just the red block, but all the five star. With the all important win in case of a draw, we are gaming today because Nuts Boy has been unpinnable in this tournament, absolutely performing phenomenally and showcasing why this summer was the summer of Poi. And Poi understands the assignment. Get right into it. Constant an aggression on the big boss. Poi is much quicker. Taking advantage and dive. Oh no, she did. Poi, stop taking that bump, Poi. And Poi, Ray Mysterio's here. Oh, not the Mysterio. And she grabs. Oh, that's alcohol. Having a dr <laughs> Do you need a drink, Poi? Oh my god. Fight Miss with alcohol. But Tora too smart for that. She'd rather take Poi to greet the fans. Say hi, Poi. Hi, Poi. This is how stardom does fan service. They literally land right by your feet. But Tora spending too much time trying to punish Poi and makes the big error, Poi. Allowing Nuts Poi to fly, Poi. Oh my, Poi. Poi, a strong Poi. Out to Brock, Poi. But Tora like... <laughs> That's like the most realistic thing I've seen in a while. Tora out to punish now, landing right on her. Ah, and now it's time to fight, not boy fighting, using her size to squeeze the submission out. And boy, so good, boy. Her performances have been so consistent, but Tora has been just as consistent in this tournament, but was far more dominant than competitive. But this is a very competitive match with Poi punishing Tora with her drop kicks, her little spinny move, and up top for her fairy oh get but misses Tora back with a spear oh my god that might as well have been a bull to a matador cannonball kills Poi and the way Tora can position opponents for the next move is really natural very ring general very commanding presence but Poi with Poi missions the Poi missions that's a strat you don't see from her often choking the air out of Tora to greatly diminish her power but this is not skull Tora her strength and power be damned and oh boy I need to drink now oh you need to drink right now oh no she has a plan she has a plan Poi and not skull pushes the ref for the blue mist that's the sleeping mist but receives whiskey mist instead ah the whiskey mist and oh big old brock boy that was fucking awesome up top for her gift and it lands one more time for good measure and boy has beaten nuts go no she kicks out what a Chad kick out! Tora easily back with her power moves, but Poi has high speed counters built into her DNA. But her stamina is completely gone. Ilaria takes her down, followed by the Death Valley Driver. She has some life left, but the power of Tora was just too much, as she has no choice but to watch as Tora climbs up and lands her Swanton Bomb for the one, two, three. Wow! Boy knows how big of a loss that was. Oh, don't be sad. And Tora is such a badass with 12 points now. Clearly in the lead with only two losses. As Tora makes fun of Nuts Poi's revolution, she drags Poi around like she's a trophy. Oh, this is awesome. And then goes, bye, Poi. Bye, Poi. And Poi angry because no one is going. What is a bye, Poi? Because Tori don't give a damn what a bye, Poi is. She challenges Tam Nakano for her red belt. And with all the momentum and boss energy on her side, Natsuko Tora is the one to beat. Thank you. 
I've caught up now. <laughs> oh, thank Tamu. Until next time, take care. And thank you to all my Patreon sponsors. We have Jeff Dupp, Channel Kicking Noah's Dad, Anthony Ali Nalas, Tease, Renee Valdez, Ace of Trace, Maddox, Justin Stein, Matthew Belichuska, Joseph Wu, John Doe, Terrence Stanwork, Edward Kaczynski, Kev Mullen, Adam K, Ray Konoshige, Party Marty 520, Funk Wicks Videos, Minister Wikawas, Boobas, Juggernaut Graphics, Shut Up, Ingo Dot Wave, Ash McGee, Boggle, James 198X, Aaron Zacharias, Far, Majin Kai, I Want Victims, JLA, Julia Sunglasses, dude, I've run out of pairs now. Chiwa, Paul, Darwin, Pickle Simer, Scott Racer, oh, Steven Siemens, ha, and Dakota Monroe, and Carvatari underscore D. Thank y'all.